الرحمن الرحيم skills. For instance, I will be learning bridle joints, how to make bridle joints, how to make half lap joints. And I'm kind of nervous about it because my measurements are not very accurate, not very straight, but I'm doing but I'm doing my best and I am learning how to cut half lap joints or bridle joints. I have yesterday made myself this jig and I found today that I have to improve it. I cut it from here so that I can clamp the wood properly and also I had to add some tape one so it slides very well. I also added some wax on it. And number two, to as close as possible make it 90 degrees so the cuts will be 90 degree properly. Now these are my pieces of wood that I have already cut. I am also using my uh, 3D printed tool for the center marking. It's proving to be very, very useful. As you can see, as you can see, I can mark very easily, uh, you know, how much area I have to leave at both sides and mark the center as well. And for the accuracy of this tool, I tried uh, after marking the lines. It actually is very, very accurate. Let's get to work and hope things go right. Some achievement. This is definitely, definitely some achievement. Let me put the saw down. I normally turn off everything after using. Now, the assemble right after fitting, it will be really, really right. Somewhere, obviously, a little bit misalignment, but overall, the angles are doing very well. Now, obviously, beginner mistake. I cut wrong one piece, but it's still in contact I will uh, strengthen it up they turn out to be really really nice this uh, tenon jig is really doing a very very good job 
okay? My half left joints are good. My these joints got a little bit loose. One is tight, one is loose, but overall they have very good fit. For the very first time, bridle joints and half left joints, I will call it an achievement for myself because I can still glue them and after glue them, obviously I will put a screw in them and they will be nice and tight. This is not going to be a very high quality work, but it's going to be a table that we will use for work. So it will actually see rough and tough times. Man, I change plans very, very, you know, impulsive. I, I am impulsive, so upon an impulse, I thought, you know what? Let's change the plan not to mount the other side on the wall, but build a complete frame and then mount the frame on the wall. So this is how one frame assembles, then the three frames, and each frame will be bolted, I mean, mounted in the wall on the floor. One, two, and three and after that these long pieces will reside on top in the middle and on the bottom making it a nice long table with shelves under it's all a learning process i made a mistake and cut these bridle joints the inner sides a little bit thinner and that means it's a very very loose fit now i could always cut some very thin wood and insert them as a ch as a chip in between and make it work but i just you know it's a diy i just want to try something else my dust collector has collected a lot of dust from the saw when i was when i was doing the saw work and what i'm going to do now or I'm doing is spreading the glue, wood glue, and then spread some wooden dust on it and settle it on top of the, you know, glue, making it a layer. Now, this will definitely make a very nice fit because the axis will be covered with this and the sawdust and this wood dust is basically easier to you know clean off should I need some kind of uh, you know if, if it is a very, very tight fit, that's what I want to say. If it is a very tight fit, I will be able to easily remove this by sanding it.
like you built this table, right? <laughs> okay, one more nail. Put in the center of that wood. No, a little closer to the wall. A little farther. Okay, good. Watch your finger. Watch your finger. You can do it. Don't worry. So, my hard work pays off and Kidus helped me a lot with cleaning up and settling down the things in that new storage and new table. We are getting much more organized. Next steps are to color this table. Obviously, I will sand it nicely and that's where I'm going to use my brand new Comex sander, which I will practice how to sand properly. And after sanding, there's a coloring time. Coloring time is for kids. They will color it. And then the final step is to put the sliding door or you know whatever door we can do easily. So to say, the workshop is getting much much organized compared to the very first day. Check it out, it's getting better. More space will come out once I disassemble this table, the pallet wood table, you've watched the video, 100% pallet wood table. I will disassemble it and use this wood for some other projects. And then we'll have lots of space. But for hard wood, uh, but for hard works, nailing the things, and you know, for hard work, I need a tough table. And that's gonna come on this wall, folding. So this is how we will make it more spacious, make full use of this area and this little place as my woodworking workshop. So, hey, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more. DIY Woodworking TV videos coming your way with more DIY projects, more DIY woodwork, and home improvements.